Hello my friends, this is Wolfgang with Tools for Ascension and today's video is about the uh, smile. You know, I always say smile like an idiot and I like to explain what I mean with this. So, uh, first of all, there is this concept of a mudra that, uh, you know, needs to be understood. Um, you know, a mudra is kind of like a a combination of fingers um, because in each uh, finger there is a different energy um, flowing, a different type of energy. You know, in some uh, traditions they are associated with the stars, like in astrology, and uh, with the planets, you know, like in astrology. And um <coughs> so you have different effects by you know, basically adjusting your body onto your psychology and your energies. Um, well, the most powerful mudra that I discovered is the smile. Um, you know, there are two muscles here, one here, one here, and that pulls the mouth corners up, and that is considered the smile. And uh, the way I discovered this was um, in India, when I lived in India, I used to uh, do mantra meditation for from anything from two to four hours a day. And um, so, you know, it uh, was, you know, the names of uh, certain divine beings. And um, so, and of course I experimented around, you know, in which way is the best way to do uh, these uh, mantras, you know, mentally, verbally, loud, silent, you know, hard focus, soft. And uh, then I realized that uh, much of the time I was just like a, <laughs> like a child, you know, uh, tugging at the legs of his mother or his father, and they, hey, 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 you know, because the mantra, the names were pronounced in that way. And, uh, you know, I changed my attitude. I imagined that this divine being was in front of me, and then I spoke it with a smile and love. And uh, as if that person is really there, you know, uh, let's say when you talk to your boss, you know, uh, hopefully you smile <laughs> and are uh, at least polite, you know. So, uh, but with that attitude um, that is doing, acting as if that person is actually there and smiling appropriately, uh, you know, a whole another level of meditation developed. You know, the uh, sweetness, you know, that came uh, with those personalities, you know, came to me. So it was a very relishable. And then later on, uh, I found uh, that the inner smile is practiced in Taoism. You know, Mantak Chia, he talks about this, you know, where you uh, smile into uh, your organs and basically transfer, you know, positive chi into those organs. And um, then uh, this is a parallel I found to this idea. And then I also read about a, a kinesiologist. Uh, a kinesiologist is somebody that does uh, muscle testing, you know. Um, like, you know, pressing your arm down, asking a question, is cigarette smoking good for you? Oh, you know, you can't hold it. You know, should you, <laughs> you know, uh, should you uh, take more B vitamins? Ah, oh, it's strong, you know. So this is muscle testing kinesiology. And so, and he um, found out that um, when you look at somebody that is not smiling, that is frowning, you know, you are, a uh, thymus gland uh, shuts down and, you know, this affects your immune system. You know, this shuts down at that moment. And um, when you look at a smiley face, you know, it turns on. You know, even with the normal yellow <laughs> round smiley face, two dots and the bow, uh, it turns on. You have a frowny face, it turns off. Then, in my opinion, you know, smiling is an expression of um, love, 
and of uh, non-aggression. You know, for some animals to show your teeth is, you know, a warning sign, especially if you have big canines. Um, but, um, you know, so even that, you know, means, you know, it's friendly, you know, I'm, I'm friendly, you know, frowning, you, know, you you know, it's people become careful and guard themselves. So uh, let's do an example here. And uh, so uh, we ask that uh, you are open to uh, divine male energy only in your heart chakra for this moment here, for this session here, um, so that any cords will be disconnected afterwards. You know, and no negative energy in any way is being transferred. So I'm opening myself to divine male energy now. Amen. And please do so too. And now I will draw love, you know, or fill myself with the love that comes in from the heavens and the earth and send it to you, to your heart, with the breath. And just smile, really smile. And see if you feel anything. Some people may feel pressure, some people tingle, some people feel warm, some people feel cold. And some people don't feel anything at all. So, you know, just observe. And for those that feel something, now please start frowning like that. Mm -hmm. I will pump the same type of love, but you know, see how it changes. So it's first of all, smile. And now frown. Now smile again. <laughs> and probably by now you figured out that when you're smiling, you know, you're receiving more, and when you frown, it kind of blocks it, you know, intercepts it in some way. And when you start smiling again, it starts rushing in. And so basically, um, you know, when you smile, you're dialing, you know, your energy body, your whole vibration to the love vibration, you know, the positive love vibration. And when you're frowning, uh, you tune into the pain vibration, you know, where you're angry, disappointed with life, bitter, <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know, just about to get into a fist fight <laughs> over a trifle thing, maybe. And so, uh, of course, people respond accordingly. When you smile, uh, you know, uh, people will smile back and, you know, uh, not hostile, but friendly. Uh, so, very, very important. And so, the other aspect of uh, smiling is, you know, smiling like an idiot is, uh, like uh, when you, uh, pull in the love from the different dimensions into your heart and or you know you go deeper into the heart you know um, to connect more with your soul from the deeper level the deeper dimensions or the more subtle aspects of your heart energy center here you know it's kind of like a wormhole you could imagine you know, this is you know a stargate you know that can access all dimensions all the way back to source uh, potentially you know I mean, so uh, getting into the space, you know, you have to kind of smile. And uh, when you get this love, 
you know, you, you smile like an idiot because, you know, when, when you just sit there on the park bench and smile, you know, and somebody asked, you know, why are you smiling? <laughs> you know, it's, it's, it's nice. <laughs> it feels good, <laughs> you know. It just feels nice. So that's why, you know, you're smiling. But then what about all the anger and the pain and the fear? Well, that are all judgments. And that while, you know, you smile like an idiot, you know, that does not judge, you know, which is in the, you know, from the point of, you know, being connected with Source and having love and, you know, that's all you need. Um, in Hinduism, this is called Atma Ram. You know, Atma being the soul and Ram being pleasure. So, uh, you know, you enjoy the pleasure of the soul and this basically makes you uh, transcendental. Uh, this means, you know, uh, not affected by your environment, you know, let's say, uh, to be practical by the emotions of others or by the hap, hap not trouble of daily life, you know, the hamster wheel. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now, I have uh, clients, you know, that cannot smile. You know, it is very hard for them, it feels unnatural, or to smile, and it turns into a grimace, and, <laughs> you know, uh, or they, they smile for a little while, and then, mm, you know. And it's because they tune basically into the pain vibration, and it's because they have a lot of pain, you know, with them. You know, in terms of Edgar Tolle, you know, they have a huge pain body, right? And uh, so, but then they also, of course, you know, uh, tune into the pain vibration by, you know, expressing it, and they can't help it. So, you know, with those people, um, there has to be a purification happening, you know, of the pain, of the pain body, you know, which is, you know, pretty much then that practice, you know, on our most spiritual disciplines, you know, where you do forgiveness, and you ask for forgiveness, and you give forgiveness, and, uh, you know, you get rid of hate, you get rid of anger, and... Um, you know, basically the sins, you know, that separate you from, you know, kind of connecting inside, you know, uh, inside, you know, into the heart, you know, that's kind of blocked by all the pain and uh, other obstacles that are there. You know, other ob obstacles are many times vows and uh, curses you know, or just trauma, you know, where we are lost people, uh, you know, disappointed love, right, love and separation, you know. Um, there are so many ways that we get uh, traumatized, you know, just watch those movies. <laughs> just watch those movies, you know, we watch movie, movies about people, you know, going from one trauma to another, like, <laughs> You know, double or seven. You know, it's just one from near death experience to another near death experience. Yep. Okay. So I like to to help people. You know, and um, you know, clear this pain. You know, many times it's also other entities like ancestors. You know, sometimes it's tribes, our tribes, you know, got slaughtered or, or things happened, politics happened, you know, where we were in position of power or we got enslaved. Uh, there are so many things um, that um, sometimes come to the surface and prevent us from smiling, you know, especially the entities, you know, ghosts from the past. Uh, and they make themselves known because they want to go home. So this is all part of uh, purification, and uh, when this is understood, you know, at least to a certain level, then this can be transcended to, you know, <laughs> uh, 
but initially, you know, those things have to be experienced for a short while, learned, you know, this is kind of the walk through the fourth dimensions into the fifth dimension, you know. Right now we are in, a, or some of us are in the third dimension of separation of ego consciousness, maybe materialism, fear, survival instincts. And the fifth dimension is like uh, unconditional love. Um, you know, you see yourself all as part of the same creator. <laughs> you know, so you act and, you know, towards everybody as if they're, you know, creator, you know, divine beings. And so it's a different world with telepathy and uh, lots of uh, wonderful things. Uh, I hope uh, this helped. Um, I'm available for sessions, private sessions. Lots of videos. Subcri subscribe, ring the bell. Smile like an idiot. I love you. Namaste.